Hey YouTube, Mike here. How we doing? All right, today um, I'm going to uh, touch on um, venting for Renai water heater, whether it be the V or the RL series or the condensing uh, models. I have had quite a few uh, comments, emails, and phone conversations with people um, about the venting. So um, this video, we're going to touch on the proper venting and what products and material that you need to properly vent a Renai tankless heater. Okay, there's three things that you're going to need. You're going to use to properly vent. A Renai heater. Uh, Belkin venting or Schedule 40 PVC pipe. Not foam core, Schedule 40. Now we'll touch on the different installations in a minute. Okay, the um, venting, concentric venting, the most common that you're going to find on this type of unit, which is the Luxury Series or the V series. So that's the silver casing or the white casing. The standard Renai venting, non-condensing. What you're going to use, find is you're going to find this Belkin, uh, excuse me, U-Bank um, vent pipe, concentric venting. So it's pipe within a pipe. And this one's going to have stainless steel inside with a poly on the outside. Again, stainless steel inside with the poly on the outside. Air gets brought in through here to the unit. The exhaust gets expelled out through the stainless steel. With the condensing models, you're going to have very similar pipe, but, Michael, hand me the small box on the ground there, please. But the box, is going to say for condensing appliances only. And the reason that that is, is that the pipe has a plastic inside and a poly on the outside, doing the exact same thing. Air gets brought in through the outer, carbon monoxide gets expelled through the inner. Okay, then the other type is you could use Schedule 40 PVC pipe only. Not foam core, which is the black lettering, red lettering, Schedule 40. Now I'll show you quickly a demo mock-up of a double vent. This would be the double vent on like their RU series. You're going to have two vents. One has a cap, air intake, exhaust. You can use the concentric venting through the middle, leaving the cap on, or remove this cap, and you can do two PVC, three inch, schedule 40. Now, the pipe sizes. For both condensing and non-condensing, you're going to have a 10 inch a 19 a 39 and see it says for condensing appliances only the other box will say nothing it just says 19.5 vent pipe extension Eubank. They sell single elbow separately. They sell a box of 45s. So you get two 45s in a box. And then there's two, there's two what they call horizontal vent. You're going to get the 11.5 and the 19. Both come just like this, 
but of course one's longer than the other. The elbow gets pushed on. It comes with two thimbles, black on the outside, white on the inside. The black on any of the venting is the only thing that's supposed to be on the outside. It's UV protected. So once your, your thimble is on to cover up the hole, that is what's supposed to be sticking outside your house. All the venting come with these three screws to be put three uh, around the hub side of the vent. So you do one, two, three. On the condensing models, on the condensing models, <clears throat> on all the vents you're going to get a packet of grease. Grease up both gaskets. They slip in a lot easier. You would figure the metal, but it not. The, the um, actual um, plastic you need the grease on. And then I'll, then they have a vertical vent, and I don't happen to have one, but I'll show you. These are the vertical vents, whether it be condensing or non-condensing. The black is the only thing that sticks out. There's your different uh, horizontal terminations, and that there is where you're going to have a basement model and you're going to come up through a plate and you're going to raise this up above the snow line. So it's a snorkel that raises the vent up above the snow line. I've got some pictures that people sent me that, that, that this was coming right out almost ground level. So this would look like this through the top of the unit. So your wall, your, your two by whatever wall, <clears throat> your thimble, and your black thimble. Now you can raise this up if you needed to a little bit, but most of the time you make this to the wall, you, you make your hole in the wall, it goes right out. That would be like for like a garage or a utility room, you can take that off. utility room uh, installation. You are not. This is B vent. If you're taking a water heater out of a job or out of your house, you most likely have this B vent going up through the ceiling and through the roof through a thimble. And then there's a shanty cap, storm collar, and that's what the old appliance used to vent on. This thing will fit right in there. This unit will burn itself out in under a year. It is not designed to be vented through the metal chimney or a masonry chimney. So if you have a brick chimney running up through the center or the back or the side of your house, you cannot vent this into a masonry chimney. It has to be vented either through the wall with the horizontal kit or vertical with the vertical kit. Now you can put a piece of pipe, 45s, to get it through the hole pipe up through the roof but you cannot I have to stress this it, this unit cannot be vented through B vent or a masonry chimney okay um, cutting the um, pipe as you can see the center sticks out more than the outside. So the exhaust part is sticking out a half an inch more on both the metal model and the condensing model. So to cut it, one you'll be able to cut it with just a saw and the other you're going to need some type of very fine blade or reciprocating saw for the metal. 
So let's just say, for argument's sake, you actually I'm not going to measure it. You're going to cut. Say you got to cut three inches off this. Now, when you measure, you're measuring from this line right here, not this line. This line. This is the engagement of this part. So say you want to cut this much off this pipe. Very simple way to do this. Michael, come here a second. Come over here. Hold this pipe like that. Get yourself a big piece of paper. Just lift it up a little bit. And put the piece of paper right on the tick mark. Wrap the paper around so that the two pieces of paper are meeting each other and then slide it to where your mark is. Then take your magic marker and just follow it right around. Doesn't matter if you get it on the paper, you get it on there. I'm just going to do it for a quick version of it. You're going to do that all the way around. When these two pieces of paper meet, it makes a perfect circle. You want to cut this first, but don't go all the way down, of course. Remember, you're not cutting straight through it. Make cuts all the way around it. Remove it. Then measure from your cut line a half inch out and mark the center. And then cut that with a fine either hacksaw or reciprocating saw going slowly and it's got to go as straight as possible. When you're done, if you notice, there's a slight bevel on these. You're going to have to clean off all of the little fur pieces and all the little metal pieces. Take your knife and, and clean it out, a file nice and easy, and then do a little bevel on it. And that's the way you're going to cut this. Okay. On. Here's the, the series. Okay, the, the, this, these, these two are the same. V is value, RL means it's the luxury series. But that's gonna be that's gonna be the same venting as what you have there. It's only single vented. So you're only using concentric venting. On these series, this is the value series and the luxury series. Doesn't matter what these things do and what they have inside of them, it's the venting. It has what I showed you, the two tops. You leave, if you're going to use that Eubank concentric venting, you're going to leave this cap in, you're going to remove this black part, one of them, and the concentric venting fits right in there like that unit. If you're going to go with the Schedule 40 PVC, you're going to remove the cap, remove the cap of whatever one, the three inch fits into each of the black pieces out and they have to be 12 inches apart minimum 45 with screens to prevent the bugs from getting in okay so that's the venting it's either going to be the uh, concentric with the metal the concentric which is all plastic or schedule 40 now with the um, vertical venting. You need to get rid of the condensate on the V and the RL series. <clears throat> Those other three series with the two tops, they have a built-in, and I can give you just a quick view of it. This is the inside of that unit right back there behind the pump is a condensate trap and then there's a pipe and that pipe goes down and outside the house you can look at my RUC video on the proper installation of that and you'll actually see the condensing pipe and how it's run outside the house but on the value series the V series and the RL series which is this right here you're going to have to put and that's through when you're going through the roof vertical venting it. You have to put on a condensate trap. And this happens to be Renai's condensing trap, also made by Eubank. 
and it's a 105065374. I'll include all of the um, um, model numbers and it description in the description below. But this is their condensate trap. It's roughly about $45. And basically it comes with clamps to clamp on, to clamp this on. So basically it goes in like that. Now, this unit happened to have been salvaged before I got it, but you're going to have a small, you're going to have a nipple coming out of the side here that's going to have a black cap on it. And you're basically going to put this and mount that to the wall like that. Call that way. Okay, so that's the way it's going to look. Then out of the bottom, you could come off with CPVC down and outside the house. Now that will collect the condensate that collects here when it comes back down through the vertical ventilation and come back down into a catch here, into this, into that, and out. Now, with any con con condensate trap, before you connect it, you have to fill it with some water so that you, you start the prime for it to be, um, uh, to be used. So, um, Again, um, I'd like to thank everybody for all of the, um, the, the comments, and I hope I've been very helpful for the ones that I have spoken to, uh, but this is very important. If you don't vent these units right, it's going to be a total waste of money. So you're looking at, on the smaller units, 650 some of the bigger units, 2000 So within a year, you're going to burn these out and you're just going to throw them in the garbage. And unfortunately, it will not be covered under the Renai warranty. Okay? Um, again, I'm going to include my email in the description below. If you have any questions or any problems, just shoot me an email with some contact information, and I will call you. I do it at night, and I do it on the weekends. And I'll try to answer your question or troubleshoot your problem. Okay, YouTube? You all have a nice day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.